Hello, and this is the additional portion that I promised everybody, and it's Tu Bishvat, Tav Shin Pei, and it's Parshas, I'm still doing Parshas Bishalach, and this is the second edition to what I said before, and it happens to be Tas Vav, which is Tu <laughs> Bishvat. Okay, this is the Gemara in Brachas, Perakaman, Daf Hei, Omar Aleph, Omar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, Kola Isaac, Batayra, Yisurim Bedelim Imenu, Anybody who's engaged in Torah learning, Yisurim will stay away from him. Shanamar says, Bene Reshef, Yakbi Uf. The Gemara says, it brings a Pusik in Mishle. I just wanted to add on to the Gemara that I didn't realize before I looked up the Pusik in Mishle. The Pusik actually begins with Ki Adam Laomal Yulad. Now, if that sounds familiar, a person is created to work. It's not a Pusik in Mishle, I'm sorry. It's a Pusik in, in Eov. <clears throat> okay? So, a person is created to work. And another Gemara says, that what does it mean work? You might think it means regular work. No, it means Amal Peh. It means the, the work of the mouth, which means learning Torah. So <clears throat> that's the beginning of this Pasuk. A person was created to work. He was created, he was actually born to work. And then the end of the Pasuk says, <clears throat> The Gemara says, Uf means like flying. Okay, Elo Taira. The the word Uf indicates learning Taira. Shanamar his Aif and Necha Boy Ain. So if you lift up your eyes from it, in other words, if you don't pay attention to your learning and completely and come constantly review it, <clears throat> then it just flies away from you. The Ain Reshef Elo Yisurim Reshef in the Torah in Bnei Reshef Yagbi Uf. That means Reshef means Yisurim means suffering. It's a Pasuk, <clears throat> I think, in Tilim. <clears throat> so, Omar Rabbi Yechanan, ben, um, Rabbi Yechanan says, what are you talking about? Everybody knows that. Anybody knows that if you learn Torah, the, the Yisurim, the uh, afflictions should stay away from you. How do we know that? If you listen to the words of God, and you do what's straight and right in his eyes, and you pay attention to his mitzvahs, and you watch all of the chukim, and all of the... All of the, the, uh, the chukim, all the, the the diseases, all the afflictions that I placed on the Egypt, I will not place on you. Why? Because God is your healer. So he learns it differently. Anybody that's possible to learn Torah and he's not engaged in Torah learning, so they bring upon him disastrous um, afflictions and they uproot him, literally. That's a again in Te'elam Lamates. I've hidden myself and I've kept myself quiet from being good. In other words, I'm ain't title a tyra. The ka'evi nechar, my my uh, my um, suffering is uprooted or disturbed. The ain't title a tyra, and I'm a kilak of tav nasati lochem tyra si ata zayvet. So the Zer Shimshon says at Tzarech Iyun on this Gemara, the Rebbe Yechin and Nami Tikshi. According to Rebbe Yechin, you can also question. The Tinaika shall be Rabban Yoidim, I say. The, the, the little children know the Psukim, they've already memorized them. The whole Mikra, the Vayoyma, Im Shemaya Tishma, and Loya Simalecho, I'm not going to place the sickness on you. Nami who Michlal Lava Tashemehen, 
from there you can un- apply the principle of from the no you can understand yes and from yes you can understand no. So yesh the tarts. This is one of his terutzim. The kavanas reish lakish haisa loimar. The intention of reish lakish in the Gemara is to say she'afim this chayav adam yisurei machmas ezachet. Even if a person is obligated some yisurei because of some sin that he did, im yasek v'tara lo yovay Allah. I love. If he does engages in Torah learning, it'll protect him. The the surim will be bedilim imenu. It'll keep him keep it far away. The day shaper lelushin bedilim imenu. It means he's keeping them away. It's like a prophylactic for him to prevent from getting any diseases. The alzer hikshalei Rabbi Yechon and on that Rabbi Yechon is asking him, asking Reish Lakish, Afilu Tinoi Kasher Beis Rabin Yodim. I said that the kids know in the in the cheder. The crocs see Hashem. Okay, he brings the pasuk again. The mashma af im hoya rohim in a royal of hoyalacha machala. Even if it was fitting for you to get this disease, asher samti me mitzayim loyosim alacha. Whatever I put on Egypt, I'm not going to place on you. The ilav hochi kasha mayasa lekra the meimer loyosim. So otherwise, it's difficult to understand. Why does the pasuk have to say I'm not going to place it on you? Why would I place it on you if you don't deserve it? How can it be that if you listen to the voice of God and do what you're supposed to do, that that he would get us disease? What tzaddik doesn't have some reward in this world and then the next? At least it could be prevented from getting the sickness. That even if he was obligated to get this sickness beforehand, and he learns Tyra, he's not going to get it. But Tiritz, Kol She Efshel Lelasik B'Tyra, Eino Isaac. Well, Rabbi Yechidin is Metaritz a different way. <coughs> so anybody who is possible to learn Tyra and he doesn't, so he gets the disease. Afo Im Yia Shomer Mitzvah, even if he guards the Mitzvahs, Velo Haya Chayah B'Yisurim, he's not obligated to get Yisurim. Mishum cheta ach echad because of one sin. Im kol zeh yavoyo alav yisurim, but he could still get yisurim. Zeh loy mashma mi pshat a pasuk. That's not mashma from the simple meaning of the pasuk. Vayemer im shemay atishma. That pasuk that we brought before lo yasam alecho kaniya Hashem arifecho. Shahoya pasuk mayri bimisha kvar nischayev bohem. We're talking the pasuk is talking about somebody that was already chayev and some kind of for some kind of the. To get some kind of disease. If it wouldn't only be the pasuk of the uh, that we brought into to, to Hillen, that I didn't, I was, I was hiding and I was quiet. I would think the Mairi might be talking about somebody who's obligated already and he's chayev to get these yisurim, these punishments. So if he was engaged in Tyra learning like he's supposed to be, so that'll protect him. <coughs> Since it was hidden from him, he can hide from these punishments because he's learning Tyra. So even from this pasuk that we brought before, that if you listen to the words of Hashem, and you know, Hashem will, it won't put the imachla on you, it won't put the disease. Kasha tre kroy lamale. What do we need two psukim for? Well, karcha tzorich leimar the myri af b'misha leichatov. Well, lein dischayev. Well, we got to be talking about something that somebody that was never did never sinned to get a punishment, and um. And he's not obligated to be punished. This is this is to me the the the, the godless of Reb I can't you know he does something so unbelievable. He takes things apart and puts them back together like nobody else does. The oid yeshleimer the lefamim yale aleva adam shechidei. So you might think that, okay, he needs a little bit to uh, to protect himself for his health reasons, okay? 
So he needs to take care of himself. He'd like take a little pleasure, go on a cruise, whatever, to go to Florida. Well, he's his battle me and that'll take him away from his learning. So also, you got to protect yourself from becoming depressed. Because sometimes you live in a certain climate, and it can get to you. After three weeks straight of clouds, and it's no sun, you might get a little depressed. <clears throat> Even if you're learning Torah. Okay. Okay. <speaking in Hebrew> Even if he has intention, like the Rambam says, you got to take a walk sometimes, go in the forest and enjoy the the, the beauties of Hashem's creations. In order that you should protect yourself, your own health, right, both physically and mentally. That anybody who's engaged in Torah learning, Yisurim, separate from him. He it's prophylactic. He doesn't keep he keeps him far away. Like it says in the Pasuk we did before, that any of the diseases that he placed on the Egyptians, I'm not going to place on you. Even though by his nature, he might be uh, have a, 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 some kind of a, a, a tendency to get sick or be depressed. No, the Yisurim are going to stay away. But the schus of learning Torah protects him. Rabbi Yochanan is telling us a bigger chiddush. If he's going to be mevatel from Torah, just because he's going to protect himself from these natural diseases and occurrences, or maybe maybe get too much depression. <laughs> so he's going to bring on him Yisurim that are not so nice and they will mix him up and take him down. So that's the the Zera Shimshon in this Persia Tudzvav. And I also promised the second part of the Segula, so here it is. At a company in the States, a bunch of the employees got together during lunchtime to celebrate a seum being made by one of the workers. At the Suda, one of the assembled rose to address the crowd and told over the Sarah Shimson's vort on the topic of Hoidula Shem Kitayu, which I told you about yesterday. Most of the people at the meal had never heard of the Sarah Shimson before, surprise, and wanted to know when and where he had lived. The speaker did his best to paint a verbal picture about the author with a limited information at his disposal. The Zereshimshin lived at the same time as the Orachaim HaKadosh. Though he had a son, he passed away during the Zereshimshin's lifetime. This prompted him to write his classic work, and especially in the introduction, which captivates people immediately. I myself have personally witnessed quite a few Yeshuas in the area of Shiduchim. But why take my word for it? You can get a hold of the Sefer and learn it yourself. <laughs> it was an emotional moment. One of the people sitting there had a brother who was already 28 years old. When he heard the way his friend was talking about the Sefer, a Sefer he had never heard of before, he decided to purchase a copy and see for himself. Instead of learning the Sefer on his own, the man began studying Bechavrusa with his brother, the 28-year-old. Two months later, his brother was a chaser, mazel tov. And another Zara Shimshin Yardsite story. As anyone trying to find a home or apartment to rent or purchase in the religious neighborhoods in New York can tell you, it is virtually impossible to find a good deal. Simply speaking, real estate prices are sky high and young couples are constantly, are consistently forced to move out of town or live in a tiny basement apartment, sometimes without windows or proper ventilation. There is no question that the demand is far greater than the supply. I managed to purchase an apartment in Williamsburg, but Despite having done everything I was supposed to do and fulfilling all the criteria demanded of me by the New York State Housing Department, the city refused to grant me a CO, which is a Certificate of Occupancy, claiming that I hadn't done everything demanded of me. The lease on my rental unit was almost up and I had nowhere else to go, and the city wouldn't grant me the necessary documents. I was claiming another reason why it wasn't yet possible to move in. I was willing to do anything they asked, 
But somehow, despite my best efforts, I found myself spinning my wheels. Every Shchodesh Tammuz, I purchased the Sefer Zer Shimshon and began learning it. Not long after, on Vav Elul, the day of the Sher Shimshon's yard site, I received a permit from the city allowing me to move into my new home. There didn't seem to be any question in my mind, at least, that the city's sudden change of heart could only be attributed to the fact that I had begun learning from the Sefer of this very holy Jew. Have a good week and a happy Tu Bishvat.